What happens if a tiger doesn't eat for two weeks? Is this cat really nice? What is it capable of and what secrets does it hide? Now you'll learn that. In this edition, I'll share the most interesting facts about tigers that will definitely surprise you. So let's start with the food. The tiger, as well as any other animal, likes eating. Food is necessary for it. Mildly speaking, this animal is not a small cat. To maintain itself, the tiger needs almost twice as much food as a lion. Throughout all its life, a big tiger consumes up to three tons of meat. However, the tiger is not a domestic cat that has a host and food. The savage has to get food by himself, and it's not always possible. Talk more about it. It happens that the tiger has a hungry period, and it can last up to two weeks. This is the maximum amount of time a tiger can go without food. By this time, it will be exhausted and weakened. And as soon as the tiger gets food, it will pounce on it like crazy. After a long hunger strike, the tiger can eat 110 pounds of food at a time. If the tiger is only slightly hungry, it usually eats about 20 to 22 pounds of meat a day. This is its standard norm, except that in the winter, the ration increases. But tigers always try to have a reserve of meat just in case there are no unforeseen famines. If possible, the tiger will fill its belly very densely, and at a time it can eat from 44 to 66 pounds of fresh meat. The advantage of being a tiger is that no one will take away the food, unlike lions who live in prides and have to share the prey. Tigers eat alone and with confidence that the whole portion will go to them. Except for tigresses, they may first treat their mature cubs and only then start eating. Force and Size Such an immense diet made tigers very big. Not counting the hybrids of the tigers, a mixture of a tigress and a lion, the tiger is the uppermost in size amongst all the cats on the planet. Tigers can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh up to 661 pounds. Record breakers weighed up to 882 pounds. This is an enormous size. Anyway, on average, the tiger weighs less, some 440 to 550 pounds. It's enough to domain in their area. By the way, the tigers inhabit only Asia. You will not find them in Africa. You may know that already, but we specify that just in case. Despite their imposing sizes, the tigers are very smart and speedy. They can increase their speed up to 40 miles per hour. That allows them to reach almost any prey. Tigers are also good jumpers. They can jump up to 16 to 20 feet high and up to 33 feet long. What's more, the tiger can jump up to six and a half feet high with a cargo of up to 110 pounds. You understand that in order to perform such tricks, you must have not only the most powerful paws but also the mightiest jaws. Tigers have both. The tiger's fangs reach up to 0.2 feet long, whereas its bite power is almost 7,000 newtons. That's much more than the Nile crocodile, the shark, the jaguar, the hyena, the lion, and many others have. Among the land animals, only some crocodiles and alligators can bite with more power. The tiger tries to attack its prey only in the neck, biting through vital vessels. Following that, the prey dies because of blood loss. The tiger does that with big animals. The smaller ones are an easier prey. One blow with the paw, the striped cat can break the spine or neck as well as break a skull. Later on, the tiger carries away the prey, takes off the fur and skin with its extremely rugged tongue and starts eating. Nobody is likely to hide from it. The tiger is not only a good runner and jumper, but also a nice climber. Lions can climb as well. Anyway, they don't do that skillfully. What's more, the tigers like swimming. That's not so typical of cats as a whole. They can cross the river with a strong flow, catch a prey under the water, and swim almost four miles with relative ease. All these incredible abilities are a result of a tiger's way of life. It's a loner by nature and has nobody to rely on. This is why he should be capable of doing everything. Tiger has two hunting methods, creeping to the prey and an attack from a lurking place. The tiger always creeps to the prey from behind. You can observe that at the example of zoo visitors. As long as the tiger sees his prey standing behind, it starts approaching it carefully. The tiger falls to the ground, moving step by step, goes quicker. 
If it gets too noisy, you can observe another sigh, proving that the tiger is a perfect hunter. After approaching nearer to the prey, the tiger reaches it with several big jumps and finishes it off. That's why you should not, in any case, turn your back to the tiger as well as other big cats. If you have a cat at home, you may have played with it a hunting game. This way, you assured yourself that as you turned away from your pet, it was creeping to you closer. The tiger does the same. At the same time, it doesn't just slightly scratch you but bites your neck through. It's curious that in the Indian sanctuaries, the workers made out an original way to protect against the predator. They have bear masks on the back of their head, simulating human faces. That seems like it really helps avoid a tiger's assault. Concerning the lurking place, the tiger usually waits, lying in the wind. As the prey approaches him, it does a quick jerk for a short distance. If the tiger loses, it follows his prey for some 300 feet. Then it calms down and waits for another prey. In the lurking place, the tiger makes use of not only the local topography, high grass and so on, but its color and mainly its stripes. The stripes mix the tiger with the neighborhood. This is not that they make it invisible, though they help it considerably become less noticeable. This is more that they frustrate the visual impression of its outlines. Because of that, the tiger can seem less or completely invisible against the background of the environment. Moreover, the cloven-hoofed animals that are included in the main diet of the tigers distinguish the colors not that way as we, the primates, do it. It's difficult for them to make out a striped hunter in the grass. That's why this disguising grows vital for the tiger. Tiger stripes are unique for each specimen. You will not find any tigers with equal stripes in nature. What's interesting, the tiger's color varies in different geographical regions. That's why it's in line with the place where it was born. By the way, if you shave a tiger, it will show stripes despite that. It comes that it's not that its fur is striped, but its skin. It has dark fur on dark stripes. Invisibility and ability to creep make a tiger an excellent hunter. At times, its victim doesn't manage to understand anything or realizes it when it's already too late. What if it notices a tiger earlier and they affront each other? Then a tiger can make use of its roar. The thing is that the tiger's roar is not just its voice but a psychological weapon. The scientists prove that it can temporarily paralyze the victim. So terrific the roar is. All that is because tigers emit an infrasound of low frequency. It's impenetrable to the human. Anyway, even we can get frightened if a tiger roars. Many animals wholly perceive low frequencies. That's why the roar influences them more effectively. The tiger can paralyze its victim for several seconds and finish it off. What's more, tigers use their roars as a method of communication with each other far away. This way, tigers understand each other. This is because tigers do not only have unique body stripes, but a roar as well. They use it as a way of recognition. When a tiger does not roar or bark, it can wheeze. This is a special sound, some kind of an analogy to a pet's purring. This is the way a tiger shows that it's pleased and happy. By the way, the wheezing and roaring is not all they can do. It turns out that tigers are good at parody. Not the way as the parrots, for example, but not much worse. They can imitate sounds of other animals to attract the prey closer. Listen to the parodying cows lowing. <coughs> Top predator. This is exactly the way we can call a tiger. After all you've heard, this is the honest truth. The tiger is the top predator in its area. It can defeat and eat anybody. From a donkey, roe, hare and monkey to deer, elk, boar and even a young Indian elephant. What's more, the tiger is one of the few, if not the only animal that poses a threat to even bears and crocodiles. It often engages in battles with bears living in Asia, frightening it away and can defeat it. This is all in spite of the fact that the bear is extremely dangerous, even with its decent size. It fights against crocodiles rarer, but that does happen. The tiger can defeat even the estuarine crocodile, the most powerful chomper on the planet. At the same time, it can finish off the crocodile in a battle for the prey, not letting the reptile take it. Despite all, the tiger is not the best hunter according to statistics. It's good at massacre, but far from each hunting is crowned with success. 
only 10% of Tiger's outings are successful. Compared to lions, they're three times less lucky. Anyway, the lions don't always hunt alone. Tigers, on the contrary, do. Tigers attack people as well. Unfortunately, that happens rather often and even more frequently than other cats. It's mainly connected with the fact that there are principally many people in Asia. There are a lot of tigers in India. It's the most populated country in the world. Yes, that's true if you know India overtook China in its population. The scientists have calculated that 373,000 people fell victims to the tigers for all time. This is a huge number. The assaults used to be very frequent. The situation's improved a little bit. Anyway, each year, several dozens of people die from the paws and teeth of tigers. There have been serial killers. For example, the Champawat tiger. It was around in the beginning of the 19th and 20th centuries in Nepal. The tigress ruined 436 lives. The animal was even included in the Guinness Book of World Records. Luckily, the hunter named Jim Corbett managed to neutralize it. However, people shoot not only such extremely dangerous tigers. The hunting for tigers used to prosper and people massively killed the striped predators, even those that didn't attack anybody. It was made to get the tiger's skin and bones or just a trophy head. Another reason for hunting was to defend themselves in the future. As a result, that led to the reduction of the tiger's population by 25 times for the last 100 years. For today, there have been left only some 4,500 tigers. The species is considered as on the verge of extinction. Tigers hunting is strictly prohibited for a long time. The scientists and organizations do everything possible to preserve the species and recover their population. We hope that they'll manage to perform the task. However, the aggression and threat the tigers pose for humans does not negate that it's one of the most incredible and surprising animals in the whole world. Wolves are among other heroes of our edition that are not less incredible. Custer Wolf For nine years, this beast terrorized all of the city of Custer, South Dakota. It was famous for its cunning, ruthlessness, and good luck. This invincible beast was particularly cruel to its victims. It always managed to escape and always smelled the slightest amount of poison in the bait and bypassed it. The Custer Wolf became a kind of werewolf or devil, which for a long time remained unharmed and continued to kill innocent livestock. A bounty was even put on its head, but still no one could corner this beast. Unwilling to put up with such a phenomenon, and especially with losses, people decided to act. They sent an experienced hunter and one of the best fur trappers to catch the beast. He was instructed to pursue the terrible predator in wolf's skin to the last, no matter how long it would take. Hunting the wolf was indeed not easy. It took seven months, and then it happened. At some point, he managed to outwit it, and the nimble animal was caught in the trap. By the way, it happened a hundred years ago, back in 1921. It turned out that the Custer Wolf was an old wolf with almost white hair, and it was even smaller than the average male. The predator weighed about 50 kilograms. This treacherous beast went down in history as the most dangerous and devilish wolf in the world. In general, in nature, there are a large number of species of wolf. Let's take a look at some of them which can be classified as the most dangerous. Gray Wolf The most famous species is, of course, the gray wolf. We hear about gray wolves since our childhood, as they're the characters of fairy tales or cartoons. But in addition to the positive role assigned to the gray predator in fairy tales, they have features that are scary in reality. First, it's the world's largest wolf. If you put it on its hind legs, the height of the gray wolf will be over 150 centimeters. The weight of the predator is over 100 kilograms. That's pretty much, don't you agree? The more northern the gray wolf inhabits, the bigger it is. The gray wolf is a very dangerous opponent, especially if you consider that all wolves, not only gray wolves, live in packs. The number of animals in them can be up to 40 individuals. They mainly hunt in packs, and for the most part, they hunt on weakened animals. They're omnivores and are not squeamish about different food. There have been cases of them attacking a sleeping bear in a den. Even though it happens rarely, it makes sense for bears to be wary of the gray predators. If a wolf gets a chance to eat bear meat, it probably won't refuse it. For one thing, it would fill its stomach to the brim. Secondly, it would eliminate its competitor. Mackenzie Valley Wolf 
The Mackenzie Valley Wolf, also known as the Northwestern Wolf, the Alaskan Timber Wolf, or the Canadian Timber Wolf, is probably the largest subspecies of wolf in North America. The body of the Mackenzie Valley Wolf is perfectly adapted to hunting. Its thick, long proportional limbs allow it to move with ease over difficult terrain such as rocky mountain bluffs or deep snow. The Mackenzie Valley Wolf is a very dangerous and hostile animal to almost any potential prey. Their diet includes elks, buffaloes, moose, deer, squirrels, beavers, and fish. Great Plains Wolf This wolf was once one of the most formidable and powerful on Earth. The Great Plains Wolf was first discovered in 1823. The range of this subspecies once spanned across the western United States and southern Canada. However, by the 1930s of the 20th century, the subspecies had all been but wiped out. Accordingly, it was listed as an endangered animal and the Great Plains wolf population has been increasing ever since. They live deep in forested areas, away from humans and any settlements. This subspecies was given a variety of names, including buffalo wolf or loafer. Alaskan Tundra Wolf Alaskan Tundra wolves have incredible strength and power. An adult can weigh up to 80 to 85 kilograms. They live in vast expanses of polar regions. These predators live for years in sub-zero temperatures and often don't know what heat is at all. Although they can be smaller in size than gray wolves, this doesn't mean that they're less aggressive or dangerous. They are dangerous because they're always hungry. That's why these polar creatures are very unprincipled predators, ready to eat almost anything they come across. How else can they survive in such conditions? They eat mostly muskox, polar hares, and reindeer. Interestingly, wolves howl to alert other packs of their presence, thus marking their territory and trying to avoid encounters that would lead to a fight. Bears and Wolves Let's go back to the bears again and see what kind of relationship they can have with the wolves. Look at how the pack of wolves here does not favor the bear. They brazenly take the prey from the bear. Despite all the attempts to protect itself and food, the bear is left with nothing. And this video captured the moment when a wolf attacked a grizzly bear in Yellowstone National Park. Despite the fact that the wolf bit the bear several times on its hind legs, the bear didn't even try to fight with the offender. After a while, it just sat down on the grass. Yellowstone National Park again. A grizzly bear encountered one of the largest and most cohesive packs in the park. The wolves were sharing a buffalo carcass, and the grizzly bear came upon the smell of blood. The wolves, of course, began to fight back against the bear. To chase the stranger away, the pack promptly united and coped with the task. In Yaroslavl Zoo, Russia, visitors caught on camera how the bear was attacked by two wolves. Of course, it managed to fight back, but then a third wolf joined the fight. The predators tried to corner the bear but eventually lost interest in it. How's that? Are you impressed by the power of wolves? It's all clear with animal fights, but what about wolves confronting people? After all, it happens too and some encounters with these predators were even caught on camera. Let's take a look at such dangerous and frightening encounters between people and wolves that were filmed. Wolves and Humans A guy named Justin is terrified because he comes face to face with a pack of hungry wolves and is completely unarmed. When he hears howling on a nearby mountain, he decides to attract their attention with a special whistle. In just five minutes, the members of the pack are already visible right at the foot of the hill. Of course, they're extremely curious as to what the sound was. The two hungry predators stare at the man for several minutes, but eventually decide to spare him and return to the others. And here, the men found themselves shockingly close to a lone wolf looking for its pack. Upon spotting the predator, they immediately turned on the camera. The wolf howled long, its neighbors didn't stand aside either, and picked up the tone the wolf had set. But the wolf didn't seem to care. It even moved closer to those who seemed to be trying to talk to it. It was obvious that the wolf felt neither fear nor even aggression. Finally, hearing the call of its pack in the distance, the animal turned away and headed back into the woods. In northern Ontario, a man driving a snowmobile decided to chase a lone wolf on a frozen lake. Most likely, the noise made by the vehicle frightened the animal, and it zigzagged away as fast as it could. At one moment, the wolf is only a few centimeters away but manages to avoid the collision. But then the man is bored with this chasing. It's only unclear why it was necessary to chase the wolf at all. By the way, the wolf is an agile and very hardy animal. It can trot at a speed of 8 to 9 kilometers per hour, jump 4 to 5 meters, and during the pursuit of prey or escape from the chase, it can reach a speed up to 60 kilometers per hour and is able to keep such a high pace for a long time. 
and this is a Russian wolf inhabiting Komi Republic. Locals were surprised to see it in their neighborhood. On the video, you can see how the animal came out on the road and stood in front of the car. They tried to scare it away by whistling and shining a lantern. The wolf wasn't confused. It even almost moved toward the car. What a confident guy! Imagine you're driving to work. You don't touch anyone, and suddenly you notice something strange on the road. That's what happened to Canada resident Rhonda Miller. At first, the woman didn't understand what, or rather who, was sharing the road with her in the morning. She thought it might be a bear, but then she realized that bears don't go around this time of year in this region. It's not enough to say that Rhonda was surprised when she caught up with the runner. She must have shuddered, for there was a huge black wolf running at full gallop down the road. There was another wolf rushing ahead. The woman was stunned by the size of the predator's heads and jaws. The animals were extremely fast. It seemed to the woman that their speed was about 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. Sometimes there are exceptions among wolves. I mean that they're not always devilish and vicious beasts. Some are not at all feared, even by big and strong bears. The wolf they called Romeo proved this. This animal loves society. It liked to come to people and play with dogs. The amazing thing about this animal was its calmness and tolerance. This story begins in 2003 in Alaska. The wolf began to appear in the vicinity of the town of Juneau, and the locals at first thought that Romeo wanted to trap the dogs. But the dogs never disappeared, and Romeo kept coming and coming to its friends. And soon it even became the favorite of the locals. This went on for six years, but at one point it didn't come. Then everyone realized that it had left this world forever. Two books were written about it. Residents of the city even installed a commemorative plaque, a kind of reminder of the extraordinary and friendly beast, which became an inspiration for the entire city. Wolves are band animals and help each other, whereas some animals support even other species. Cat and Puppy Cat and Dog Traditionally, they're called enemies because in nature, these two very rarely get along with each other. Even at home, their friendship doesn't always work out. But sometimes the enmity is worth forgetting in order to help someone who's in trouble. In this footage, we see a little puppy that fell into a pit. The little creature was very weak, so it couldn't get out on its own. It only managed to get up from the bottom and crawl out to the edge. A cat that was passing by saw the puppy and tried to help it. At first, it didn't work. The baby couldn't reach it. And when the puppy decided to jump into the cat's paws, it snapped and flew to the bottom of the pit. Without a second thought, the cat rushed down and grabbed it by the withers and pulled it out of the pit. The rescue operation went great. Cat and Fish What about an even more amazing case? Everyone knows that cats love fish, right? These creatures will do anything to get their paws on a fish, but sometimes miracles happen. For example, in this footage, we see a cat standing near a container of water. There's a fish in it. To be more exact, the fish jumped out of the water and was lying helpless. It would seem to be the easiest prey to think of, but the cat decided not to eat the fish. On the contrary, the cat helped it back into the water, gently pushing it into the water with its paw. It's hard to believe that this sometimes happens. The dog saved the dog. Since childhood, we've been taught to be careful on the road because a car may appear out of nowhere. People know that, but do dogs know that? I don't think so. In this footage, taken in an icy yard in a northern region of Russia, we see a small puppy out for a walk, wagging its tail and slipping awkwardly through the ice. It can't see that behind it, a blue car is backing up and about to hit it. There's nothing to blame the driver for. It's very hard to see such a little dog. A trouble almost happened, but luckily the puppy's mother was there. The dog saw the danger, quickly ran to the puppy across the yard and managed to grab it and get out from under the wheels and then dragged it away from the danger zone. The Smart Pedestrian Award rightfully goes to this nameless black and white mutt that demonstrated excellent knowledge of the driving regulations. Need more examples of strong friendship in the animal world? Then stay tuned to find out how a confrontation between pet geckos and a snake ended as well as to see the most incredible and interesting cases of animal rescue in the wild. Lizards and a Snake In this video, shot in Cambodia, we see two geckos and a snake. According to the author of the video, the lizards were just resting, when suddenly a green snake jumped on one of them. 
The reptile immediately performed its trick, starting to coil around its victim. The video shows the snake strangling the gecko more and more with each passing second. The second gecko was at first just watching the fight. Either it was shocked or it was confident in its friend and gave it time to deal with the snake on its own. Either way, it soon became clear that help was required. Then the second gecko rushed to save its friend and attacked the snake several times. That was enough. The reptile immediately loosened its grip. It's safe to say that this is an amazing example of nobility and courage in the animal world. The Chick and the Monkey Monkeys are very intelligent animals that understand very well when someone needs help. Let's see that again by watching this video, taken a few years ago in a British zoo. A thoughtful orangutan spotted a chick drowning in a zoo pond. The bird couldn't get out on its own, and then the primate decided to save it. The monkey gave the chick a leaf to cling to, but after hanging on the leaf for a second, the chick plummeted back into the water. At the last moment, the orangutan managed to pull the chick out of the pool using the leaf as a scoop. The rescue operation went well. The orangutan then dutifully carried the chick to the center of the enclosure, set it down on the grass, and gently stroked it. That's a cute and cool video. That's all, guys. Which moment impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.